Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of As the Filament Dryer Turns. In this episode we are going to be discovering, do you need to dry your TPU filament? Now as you, oh and before I go any further, a couple of you have said to me that even though the nylon printed okay at 20% humidity, it wouldn't be strong. Well, here is my example number one. I printed this, both the fittings and the housing itself out of nylon as it came off my shelf. It's a compressor muffler. It's been on there since I did that probably six, eight months ago. So, strong enough to be on a compressor. Okay, with that being said, oh, and this is the blue, and I believe this was Foxmark TPU. I love this TPU. I have printed a lot of stuff out of it. It has been open on my shelf here. I printed those little tile mate covers out of it. I printed my ladder feet out of it. I've printed a bunch of stuff out of it. Love the stuff. Wish I could still find it. I'd buy three more rolls in different colors because it's really good. So, for the record, 20% humidity as of this moment. Up, oh, just dropped to 16. The low is at 16. And remember, this little gauge does not go below 16. And the high has been as much as 35%. In the last few days we had a little storm here a few days ago and this roll of tpu has been open to the air since i got it well over a year ago so we are in the process of warming up and printing and what this is going to be is a little uh like screwdriver bit holder you know for the bits that go in in your power screwdrivers trying to make things that are useful uh, as opposed to things i just have to throw away and this Ender 3 is out in the garage because that little 10 by 12 room I'm in with my other 3D printers, there is no more room, no room for a fourth printer in there. So um, it's out in the garage and probably going to stay out here. This is my original Ender 3. This is one of the original batch of 500. I pre-ordered it and waited weeks to get one. And hopefully I fixed all the problems it had since then. It's been flashed to stock Marlin. It has a McEwen Flexi Plus extruder on it. And it's got the little Pex Fang cooler on it. And things like that. So other than that, it's pretty much, you know, other than the fact that it's not stock, it's pretty much a stock Ender 3. We're using hairspray and a mirror bed. And to dry, I've got my Rosewill converted Rosewill food dehydrator. And for the hydrating part, I've got my little box with the um, sponge and the little, the little sonic power diffuser. So, I'm going to print one just as the, as the roll came off the shelf, or as it's actually just been sitting here on the machine for several months. And um, then I'm going to dry one for four hours, then I'm going to hydrate one for four hours, and then we're going to come back and we're going to compare the difference. We will be right back. And just on a quick side note, here are the ladder feet that I printed out of the TPU. Seems like about, gosh, at least a year ago. And there is a testament to the value of 3D printing and to um, the strength of this TPU filament. It has held up really, really, really well. Okay, so here is what the first part looks like. It just came off. This is the one printed it, you know, just off the shelf, 20 to 35%, somewhere in between there. It was 35% humidity here a few days ago. It's 20 now, so whatever. I marked it with a 1 on the bottom because then it looks pretty good to me. I don't know that we're going to tell the difference. And, oh, by the way, those ladder feet that I showed you a little bit earlier, they were also made with the filament right off the shelf. It was not dried or enclosed or anything like that. So, I have 8 grams of filament. It takes about 3.5 grams to fill this, to, to excuse me, to print this. That's about 8 grams of filament in the dryer. I'm going to leave the dryer set at its max, 70C. We're going to turn it on. It might help if I plugged it in first, huh? Let's plug it in. <laughs> Bet it will work better. All right. There we go. There's your problem, lady. Okay, we're going to give this four hours. I'm going to come back and print another one. Okay, it has been in the dryer for four hours at 70 degrees C. I have pulled a little bit of it through one of the vent holes in the dryer. So I am going to print from within the dryer. Just 
as I printed the nylon from within the enclosure of the Ender 3 that if it's enclosed this one will be printed from inside of the dryer and as of right now four hours later from what I showed you last time it is still says 16 percent and 84 degrees in my garage so the printer is or yeah the printer is up to temperature and ready to go I'm holding the camera in my hand I forgot to bring a tripod out so I'm gonna get it loaded and get another one of these printed be right back okay our filament has been in my little sweat box for four hours 87 degrees humidity inside I am going to pull the end of it out, stick it in the printer, which is up to temperature and ready to go. And I am going to print another one of those, and then we're going to come back and we're going to compare them. Be right back. Okay, here we go. I got all three of them. I've got one for the one I printed right off the spool, D for the one I dried for four hours, and W for the one I did my best to hydrate for, hydrate for four hours. So let's take a look at them. This is the one right off the spool. And I have done, other than pull off the loose strings, I have done little or nothing to clean these up. And you see, this filament prints really nice for me. I really, I've really been very pleased with it. it um, it's nice and flexible. And um, yeah, printed really nice. Let's take a look at the dry one. And the dry one looks really nice too. If you want to know the absolute truth, I can't tell the difference between the one at 20% and the dry one. They both look exactly the same to me. Let's take a look at the one that got super wet and I actually had to wipe the outside of this filament down because I was afraid it was so wet, so slick on the outside that it wouldn't feed. And again, I honestly, I cannot tell the difference. Let's get the dry one. Here we go. D for dry. And here, here they are side by side. Let's get them up here so that we can both, here's the bottom surfaces. Here's the nice wide front surfaces, and um, yeah, I can't, I can't tell a bit of difference. So there you have it. Do you need to dry your TPU filament? Well, not if you live in an arid environment like I do. I would say that if your humidity is 50% and under, it's probably a waste of time. Now I know that my little sweat box cannot really properly simulate what it's like to live in the middle of the Amazon rainforest or some other very, very human environment. So if you're experiencing bad printing with TPU in that environment, then maybe you ought to try drying it. But um, certainly four hours of hydrating it isn't enough to cause a notable difference. Certainly not like it did with nylon. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope we both learned something from it. And um, please like and subscribe and hit notifications, and I'll catch you the next time. Bye for now.